Okay, today we're going to be seeing if a vacuum chamber weighs less when it's under vacuum. And then in addition, we'll be testing a few other cool things. I'll see if a pressure chamber increases in weight when you increase the pressure. And then I will also test what happens to things inside the vacuum chamber. Do they increase or decrease in weight? So I've had a lot of requests to do this. People are always wondering, does the vacuum chamber weigh less when you take the air out of it? And theoretically that is true because when you take the air out of it, it actually has less mass than before. If you're to reduce the pressure inside, it makes the air inside less dense. And so there's actually a buoyant force pushing it up a little bit. Just like if you fill a balloon with air, it doesn't flow, it just stays there. But if you fill it with helium, it floats because the helium is less dense. So when you take the air out of a vacuum chamber, you're essentially filling it with something lighter than helium, and that's empty space. So empty space should flow in air. So that should make the vacuum chamber a little bit lighter. So I have the vacuum chamber here on a scale, and it's kind of hard because the vacuum chamber is pretty thick walled, and so I have to find a scale that has a good resolution that I can pick it up but also can take the full weight of the vacuum chamber. So the resolution of this scale is one gram. So let's turn on the vacuum chamber and see if it starts dropping in weight. Okay, seeing if a vacuum chamber weighs less with no air in it. It's now at 3,423 grams. So I'm going to zero it right here. Okay, it's now at zero grams, so we'll be able to tell if it goes into the negative now. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> That's awesome. You can easily tell. Look at it just start dropping in weight. I did not expect it to show up that vividly. We're at half an atmosphere, it's already lost 24 grams. <laughs> That's cool. So you notice right off the bat it loses most of the weight. But now it's slowing down. We're at 0 0.2 atmospheres. Okay, we're at 0 0.1 atmospheres. We've lost 25 grams. Okay, so we're at a full vacuum now, and it stayed at minus 25 grams. Oh, minus 25 grams, I'm gonna open it. Three, two, one. Oh, there it goes. Wow, <laughs> back to zero grams. That's awesome. <laughs> So what's cool about this is the main portion of weight lost is lost right at the beginning when the needle's about only a tenth or two tenths of the way down. So this seems just about right. If you were able to take a cubic foot of air into space, not in orbit, but just in space so you still have gravity, and weigh it on a scale, it would weigh around 36 grams. And my chamber isn't quite a cubic foot, so it seems just about right to get 25 grams less weight. Okay, now let's see what happens when we actually pressurize a chamber. Will the weight increase then? Okay, increasing pressure. Three, two, one. Two atmospheres. Three atmospheres. 10 gram increase. 12 grams, 15. So it's increased 14 grams. It's at three and a half atmospheres, 15 grams. So in this case, when you add air pressure, it increases the weight. And that makes sense. You're adding more mass to it, so it should weigh more. The same way that the vacuum chamber makes sense. We're taking air out of it, so it should weigh less. So in this experiment, I'm not even going to be using a scale 
because the differences in weight that we're talking about are so small that it's not gonna be picked up with a scale like that. So I'm going to be using something very light. I have here a balloon with helium in it and a little bit of duct tape on it. You can see that it floats. So let's see what happens if we put this in the vacuum chamber. Okay, does a balloon get heavier in a vacuum? Three, two, one. And drop. You <laughs> see that? It dropped off the top. Now let's let the air back in. And it floats back up. <laughs> so cool. So we have it right there at about, at about 0.6 atmospheres. But if we reduce the air pressure in there, make it more of a vacuum. It sinks. <laughs> okay, so why did this happen? Why did the balloon just sink when we, ma when we made it a vacuum in there? So the same thing happens to even non-buoyant things in water. For example, little army guy repelling with a spring here is about this heavy in air, but then when I pour in water, but he's only this heavy in water. So the same thing happens in air. We're surrounded by air just like this guy's surrounded by water. Now if we remove the water, he gets heavier. Same way if we remove the air from around us, we get heavier. So if I were to take the amount of water of the volume of this guy and weigh it on a scale, then that's the difference of weight between the guy here in water and the guy here in air. And so the buoyant force in water is a lot because water is pretty dense and it weighs a lot. But the buoyant force in air is not a lot. So why don't we ever notice the weight of air? The answer is for the same reason you don't notice the weight of a water balloon in water. You can only feel the full weight of a fluid when you're not in it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. I hope you liked this episode. So I need some help from you. I'm trying to think of a name that I should call the people who watch my channel. If you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments section. If you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments section. And if you see an idea that you like, give it a thumbs up so it'll move to the top. And remember, if you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button. And you can also leave me some comments in the comment section to, if you have any questions about this video or any past video, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. And as always, I'll see you next time.